Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and we're back. This is Alan Wake 2, and this is going to be Episode 2. The game's just starting to pick up, and we're getting the story all in place. Let's go see what we got next. Let's get into it. Look at that, we're back in Deerfest. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. And some deja vu here. And the animations for the cars are way better than the first one. I still remember that from the first game, how bad the animation was. Alright. Look at those graphics. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Quiet down, Max Payne. This looks like the lodge. Elderwood Palace Lodge. Who's this lady? Can we talk to everybody? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Ah. Where'd the ferry come in? Must be over there somewhere. What you looking at? That's a nice view. Let's see if there's anything over here. I like how it slowed it down because there was like, uh, you know, danger, like construction and stuff. That was cool. I need bolt cutters. Would you look at that? Short key won't work there. Okay. So I guess eventually we might have to go through there. Oh, this guy's fishing over here. He's gonna catch them. You got anything? No. It's a patience game. I get it. What are you doing? Oh, he's doing selfies, it looks like. Can we go into the lodge? Got a missing persons thing? Oh, missing dog. That sucks. So sleepy. Just a few more days. Excuse me, sir. Have you been uh, doing something you shouldn't be doing? This flashlight in your face is an indicator that you should Just tell me. Just a few more days. Alright, let's move on. We got bigger fishes to fry. Look at that. That's a nice fireplace. Oh, hello. That is some nasty looking pizza. Somebody needs to clean that up. Double sided fireplace. We got any manuscript pages in here? Take a look around. I'm gonna guess I'm just going into people's rooms. Anybody in here? Wait, does that say FBI? I need to piece these clues together on the case board. That does say FBI. What clues are you talking about? Ah, here we go. We got the lunchbox. And I think this one was still in the cauldron lake. There we go. There's a lot of those. Oh, bathroom we didn't go in there. Let's see what's in here. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's a nice tub. It looks like a boat. This ain't too bad. Bed ain't bad either. Kind of cozy. Can we go in here? Ooh, we got a... Oh, look at that. We got a pool table. That guy's... Eh. Good to see you. Good to see you, whoever you are. All right, we got some hot sauce on the counter. Ooh, an arcade. Yeah, we can't do... What, what arcade is that? Death Rally. All right, let's go see the other rooms. A 
lot of coffee in here. What's this? Aldrin Lake, look into news and rumors. Focus on 2010. Cross-reference with old case files from New York City cult. Similarities, commonalities, and methodologies. Part of a series? Find out name of good coffee from diner. Yeah, this person likes coffee. Is this one of our rooms? What's going on over here? Is this Casey's room? Oh no, pistol. Is This might be mine. And they got some dust going up and everything. Okay. What's in there? Toothbrush. I think that might be my room. Please do not disturb. Okay, we don't go in that one. Not that one. What about here? That one's locked. I can't force it open. You just kick it in, lady. Come on. Alright, we checked all those ones. I think that was one of our rooms. Because clearly they're talking about the case and everything. We got a piano. Let's look on the other side and let's see what else they got around here. Ooh, is this where they eat? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Oh, a little buffet. This guy's filling it. I think there's music here, but I don't hear it. He does. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. What kind of food you got on the menu around here? Anybody want a drink? Alright, let's go see over here. It says private. I'm the FBI, okay? Nothing's private. I'll be back in a second. Roger. And ooh, we got another one of these. Rest easy, buddy. I don't I don't think he's alive no more. So I, I think he's resting. About as good as you can rest. Let's see what else we got. Man, people need to learn to clean up their food around here. They just leave it around. What's going on here? It looks like they're tying stuff to it. Victims. Right Falls. Interesting. Wait a minute. Look. Wait a minute. I'm seeing something here, look. Go back to the mind uh, room. It's the same room. There's like some subtle differences, but this is pretty much the same thing. We got... Casey's favorite brand. Oh, we got Casey's some drinks. Terrible. Wild Valley. We got some weapon upgrade now. I got three. That's still not nearly enough. And now we got the radio. Wait, what's this? My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Man, ruin his food with all that salt. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, we got a radio. We can listen to different music. Can we just exit like that? Oh, cool. So we can either press B or just walk through the door. That's cool. Private, open up. It's not opening. That's pretty cool. So this is her mind room. I guess we just go here in her mind mental like where she does her casework that must have been her uh that uh bedroom back there must be hers too open okay let's get out of here it's a pretty cool lodge uh ferry tickets okay let's put that flashlight away we don't need that the whole time this area is flooded. Oh, yep, it's flooded. All right, can I go in it? Oh, I'm in the water I think now. I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just hanging out in the water. Don't mind me. Does it show uh, like wet pants or something? I don't know if it shows her pants wet. I can't see them. All right. Hello. Hi. Let's get over here. That's a garage. How much 
coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough, that's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. All the coffee. All right. Let's head this way. Man, it is sweating suits, isn't it? Charlene, are you as comfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of hot caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, I'm in hell. Swamp ass city. Ugh. I'll look around. <laughs> Change of topic. See you in a bit. Take your time. Swamp ass city. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my. <laughs> I mean, our float will be the bell of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect, really. It is the finest entertainment a town like ours has to offer. The happiest day of the year. Like Christmas, but better. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. I hate the holidays. Get that sign up, make sure it's straight. Let's go to the old oh, diner. Dear. Coffee world. Cute. Let me guess. Who said that? The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. I was told there were witnesses. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. I wonder if they're gonna have the lime and the coconut song in here. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calvin Lake was fast off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, let, let's go see if on the jukebox they got the lime and the coconut. Jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. As a, I'm a big fan of coconut as the next person, but come on. <laughs> yep, there we go. It's the lime and the coconut. Put the lime and the coconut and mix it all together. How can you be so calm? Corpse is a part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Can you tell me what you saw and why were you at Cauldron Lake? Let's go with what they saw first. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Yeah, I think that's about what happened. Why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. Uh, why do you think it was a cult? 
What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Mm-hmm. Someone's lying about something. Let's take a look. The cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. And then Cauldron Lake. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Jimmy. Wants to get herself in trouble. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Hey, is that Rose? Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That was weird. Was that Rose from the first one? Hi. Then she got the... Oh yeah, there's the dark hallway. And I think that was Rose from the first uh, game where she was being controlled by that witch lady. Let's see what's down here. Is the witch in here? Oh, what's that? The little coffee guy. She just likes these elk. I feel bad for these guys. What is her connection with those? She just keeps petting them. All right, let's keep going. The detail is insane. We got a map. Ooh. Can we unlock another one? Look at that. We gotta find more maps. Remember, you can quick access the map without entering the mine place by holding it down. Ah, okay. And if we hold down the map, we can also press right bumper, and it goes right to the case board. Let's go to the other case real quick. I think we still... We got something from that necklace. And... Oh, the bookers describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks. So that's probably under the killer's profile. We're dealing with an organized group of killers. Not a lone serial killer. Okay. She's starting to figure that out. Oh. What's with all this? 
Okay, let's go check out Colt Stashes. Uh, let's go back. And we got that. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay. Collectibles. Nice. And we found one of them. And that was in the Cauldron Lake area. Very cool. Oh, let's go back to the cases. I went all the way back. Here we go. Let's see what this other one is. The Cult of the Tree. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Okay. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Cult of the Tree. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff for it. A cult necklace with a triangle symbol. Let's see what we have for the questions. What kind of cult? Who's involved? Cult goal. Uh, maybe this one. What kind of cult? Cult symbols. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride. Okay. Cultists were wearing deer masks. Now we gotta go back up to here. Cult psychology. If they, they're they hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. Now that makes sense. Triangle figures made from twigs. That's a symbol. What's the purpose? Marking territory, a warning, uh, feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. And large amount of supplies laid out on a table. Who's the cult? Cult skull. Nope. I guess that goes back up here. Cult psychology. This is a lot of equipment. Just laying around how long have they been out here? Quite a while. I would imagine. Alright, let's go back. And I can't open this with my bare hands. We got a shortcut key. Use it. The necklace. Nope. We need to find a key for that. Uh, anybody in the bathroom? They're always hiding some in the toilet. Not this time. All right, let's move along. I can't get through this. Employees only can't open that. Let's head back out. I love all the detail in this game. There's so much to it. I just want to explore everything. Can we go in here? Employees only in the kitchen staff. How you guys doing? This is exactly why I hate small towns. Keep it down, Ed. You know how touchy these rural types can be? These rural types. Why not tell the police what you saw? A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. So I guess we're looking after them now. Let's go over here and talk to Rose. How exactly do we know each other and seen anything strange in town? Let's ask about how she knows us. So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Have you seen anything strange around town? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for Deerfest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. That's a problem. Then everybody can be disguised as the cult, and we wouldn't know who. Good to see you. I don't know who you are, man. So, we're not being arrested? You're all good, Ed. You can ease up now. God. All set? Hey, 
My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. I wouldn't count on it. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Morning, Wizard was Sheriff. always my... Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Let's head up to the morgue. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Yeah, she's always been kind of, I guess, airheaded. She's kind of crazy. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep. In the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff's Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Hey. We'll take a look around after. Let's go figure out what's inside Nightingale's so body. With the funeral home next door, it's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. So I guess we do get to dig in. It's gonna get dirty. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Makes me feel like I'm right at home. What's in here? Oh, got some items. Some batteries, some painkillers. Like how everything is opening and closing as I run into it. How's it going? It doesn't budge. I guess that's not the right door. I'm just testing things out for evidence. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. All right, I'll let's start examine with the external it. inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Well, we got the heart. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Yeah, that would be pretty hard, wouldn't it? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What they put in there? Let's go to the case board. Okay, let's go to the cases. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Examination of R. Nightingale. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay, so we got illegible words on the heart. Uh, did the killers write this on the heart? How? I can't make out what it says. That would be really hard to do. Okay, we got chest ripped open, something visible inside. Cause of death. I suspect, or as suspected, it looks like something was put in there. We're gonna have to go probably try to grab it. Let's see, where else would we do? Ritual writing. Bruises, defensive wounds. 
Looks like Nightingale put up a fight before they restrained him. Smudged text under victim's skin. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Tattoos on body and heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. Bloating of joints indicate long-term water exposure. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Cause of bloating unknown. Strange tattoos on skin and heart. Something was inserted into the chest cavity. Chest trauma is clear. Cause of death. Okay, let's go look inside. Ooh, it's gonna get nasty. Here we go. page we found at Colgen Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. No, 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 wait. What the heck just happened? Sheriff? What the hell? Oh god. Show me the clicker. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. It's quite the opposite, huh? There he is. The music seems to be messing up. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, there he goes. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Okay. Run. Grab the gun. That lady got messed up. Shoot him. Man, this is crazy. Last chapter one. Man, that was awesome. This is uh, the end of episode two, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, the story is getting crazy. Nightingale just got up. He started attacking everybody. Now we got to figure out what's going on with this cult stuff. All right, everyone. Really appreciate all your support. Uh, if you guys liked the video, it's going to spread that to other people so they can enjoy it as well. So go ahead and hit that button. 
And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you can get notified with all the new content. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.